what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Nasty Nate channel. Thanks for stopping in today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove tar or rubber from your rockers or wherever it might be on your car. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this video pretty short and simple, but yesterday we did a pretty nasty burnout. If you haven't seen that already, go back in my videos. It's the last video, but Today, we're gonna to show you how to remove all that rubber and tar from your vehicle. So first, you're gonna want WD-40. And then, once I show you what to do with the WD-40, you're gonna need Dawn dish soap, just a little bit. You're not gonna need a lot. Please do not use the whole bottle, that's insane. And then you're gonna need some wax or sealant uh, after this whole process is done. But first, what we're gonna do is Come home right after you notice this and just soak it with WD-40, just like this. Just soak everything, every spot of tar. You can already see it's kind of starting to bleed. What this is gonna do is soften up the tar or rubber and you'll be able to wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. So I used a, a good amount on this. I mean, you really want that stuff soaking in. You might have to come back in a couple minutes and just hit it again like this. If you wanna do that, if it's really bad like this, maybe you should do that. In a couple minutes, we're gonna come back to this shot and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to wipe off with a microfiber cloth after you spray WD-40 on it. So let's get to it. All right, so we're back after about five minutes. You can see the WD-40 has been soaking in, trying to break down all that tar or rubber little bit of both probably, but we're gonna take our microfiber cloth. Now this cloth is probably gonna be ruined after this, so you wanna make sure to take note of that if you're gonna use a nice towel. Probably don't wanna use a nice towel. And you're just gonna to start to wipe away. So it's gonna look absolutely disgusting, but this is actually going to take it off. See, you can see it gets the spots off. You don't wanna to scrub too hard because that's when you're gonna to start to scratch the paint. So if you need to, you know, take a couple passes, maybe do this once or twice, maybe, um, you know, flip your towel over, wipe this off as clean as you can, and then soak it again with WD-40. You can also spray WD-40 on your microfiber cloth. Um, so I'm gonna get to wiping this thing down and we're gonna see, you can already see that this is coming off pretty easily compared to what it is down there. So this one's pretty bad, but you definitely wanna catch this as soon as you possibly can. I mean, if you wait and let the sunlight and heat cure the tar into the paint, I mean, it's just gonna be a nightmare to get off. So this happened yesterday, and it's honestly being annoying to get off right now, but you wanna catch it as soon as possible. So let's try to wipe the rest of this off, and we'll get to the next step. All right, once you wipe everything down, let me just show you. It's going to look like this. You can see there's some kind of like swirl marks uh, and it's just greasy. See, everything's greasy, covered in WD-40, some stains from the rubber, not stains, but it's just really dirty. So what we're gonna do is grab your dish soap. Now, I'm not trying to say wash your car with dish soap, never do that. This is designed to cut grease and this is gonna cut the WD-40. If you wash your whole car with this, you're gonna take all the wax off. That's why I have this sealant over here that I'm going to use after the dish soap. So make sure if you use dish soap, you use a little bit, you don't need a lot, and then wax it or seal it or whatever you wanna do after that to make sure there is some kind of protectant on your paint. You don't want your paint just dry as a bone after you wash it with Dawn dish soap. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got a bucket that I've already washed my car with. I'm just gonna do a little bit, right like that. And it's on the sponge. So let's wring it out a little bit. And then just gently scrub the area that you just cleaned. Just like that. It's gonna be simple. All right, so we're back to white again, back to its original color. So after this, we're gonna spray it off, we'll dry it, and then we'll give it a coat of wax. You guys are good to go. 
All right, what we're gonna do next is just take this wax or sealant, whatever you have. This is Jet Seal by the Chemical Guys. Pretty good product. I've seen better, I've seen worse. No big deal. Whatever you guys wanna use, just use some kind of wax. All you need is a little spot on your towel, just like that. I don't wanna get my polisher out and do all this with a polisher. It's just like literally a square foot. So I'm just gonna kinda rub this in just Wherever you washed with dish soap, wherever you washed with dish soap, you want to make sure you wax. So I'm just going to go all the way up the side here. And then we'll wait about 20 minutes and wipe it off. It's that easy. Make sure you guys use WD-40, not, you know, not brake clean or crazy chemicals, paint thinner, anything like that. WD-40 is perfect. It's not going to harm your paint. It's not going to do anything bad to your paint, and it's going to work perfect. As you can see, we did a burnout yesterday. Destroyed the paint. I mean, absolutely covered it in tar and rubber, and it is completely gone. The rest of it is just literally rock chips, which sucks. Your car is going to have rock chips every once in a while, but that is way better than what it was before. So if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to Nasty Nate for more, and we'll see you in the next one.